guys and welcome to the most requested video a lesson that everyone wants to know about basic passing chords now today what I'm going to do I'm going to show you a very simple basic passing chord that you could use to go to a destination of a fourth chord uh, for example on the key of F sharp the fourth chord of an F sharp is a B right there the fifth chord is a C sharp the sixth chord is an E flat minor then finally to the F I will touch a bit on the second degree, which is a G sharp minor, and so on and so forth. Now, the first chord I'm going to show you is the minor three. Now, watch this is the F one, two, F sharp, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That's the scale. If you continue that nine, whatever. Now, how am I going to use a three? So the three, normally in the music theory, the one is a major, the two is a minor, the third is a minor, the four is a major, the five is a dominant, the six is a minor, the seven. Uh, is a diminished then back to one four and eight now I'm going to play something which I'm meant to play like this so now I'm going to pretend I'm playing long chords Now, if you listen to that one, I'm overstaying on each chord. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to divide now my chord duration into two times. So, instead of one, two, three, four, I'm going now to do one, two, then I do passing chord, then I go to the next chord. Or I do one, two, three, then passing chord, then to the next chord. So, this is what I mean. One, then pass it off, then four. Did you see that? Instead of the way going one, two, three, then four, I'm going to do one, two, three, then four to the four. So now you realize now this three minor is leading me to a four. Alright? Now, let us now look to a chord that will lead you to a five mm -hmm. a chord that can lead you to a five i'm just doing the basic one i'll do now the intermediate and even to to the complex later this is a five you can do a diminish so before you read to the five the five is a c sharp what is that chord what is the note that comes before the c sharp is the c itself here so you could do i want you to look at this chord so you could you could do that it's a diminished chord to the c so this is you do that Did you see that so instead of going like one Now go now with you now have to replace that on the third beat so one two three oh now what did i do i decided not to play the long way but rather the short way 
I just inverted this chord backwards like that because just to respect the melody of the song. What did I just do there? What did I just do there? I did that diminished chord I was doing, but now this time round, I did the F sharp diminished seven. This. Why is it applying? Because the note, this note is also included in the C major scale and also it's also included in the F sharp minor scale. That's why it is in there. Now, I did that. So this is what so this is how it looks like. So we have the F sharp, then we have the A, we have the C. This is the F sharp diminished seven chord. The F sharp diminished looks like this, but the F sharp diminished seven looks like this. Like that. So you could play like this. Remember, I was just playing it here. So together I'm going to have. shown you now the, the three and the diminished seven now this diminished seven I just showed you here can also be used to go to a one here so this, now, let's let's try and do that example Today. We see again. There, there. Everything will be learning. this thing a bit for the sake of music and also for the sake of you. Now remember I was doing this? Instead of doing that minor, I was doing that. I want you to go ahead and carry that note right there and play this instead. And now on the left hand, I want you to play this. So I'm going to have the hand an E major seven. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going now to employ an E major seven when I arrive down to the third phrase. So the, th the first phrase I'm going to do the basic. Then I do my minor on the third beat. Then four. Then I do my diminished then seven, five. Then I do my four. Then six, then one. I go back down. Now together with my influencer. Then I do my for the one
this chord to replace an, an F sharp or a 1, but I play it with another way. This is it. So I'm just playing my F sharp here, but I'm adding it there. So this, in short, it is an F sharp dominant chord. Now, let me now apply this chord. Uh, now here. Yeah. So what I'm doing is, so I'm just doing, I'm just changing to only two notes. Then I'm going to a four. So these two passing chords. I've already told you the E flat seven, the E major seven. Then, so I'm doing the E flat seven and the E major six. So seven and six, then one. Now let me see you. Let me show you how we apply that. now of a dominant second this is a G sharp dominant chord I want you to pay attention on how you play it this G sharp major but now you add this F sharp note here to be your to make it dominant so this is what I'm going to do on the same chord. This E major works well with F sharp. So, we are playing around this E. So, always voice like that. this thing in the real music. Alright. I don't know if you've ever heard this song or this intro anywhere in, in, in your musical journey. Here, you must have heard this. Yes, this is the F sharp diminished seven. You must have heard of this is a B minor. 
then you must have heard of this. This is the same chord we're playing here. So I do this. So, I, so when I, I slide up, I, I fall together. I play together. Then I hit this, I hit together with the E while holding this one down. Sorry. So in the next move, I'm, going, I'm just going to go down, then lift this one. Then for the for the yeah, for, for the B minor, then this chord here is a C sharp dominant. The C sharp dominant chord that you're going to really use. The best way to play a, a, a C sharp dominant chord to play like that and add the, that flat seven of it, that dominant there. You add a B in it, and now the best way to play it so that it sounds good and to voice it. I want now to invert it backwards, right there. Invert it even much further. Bring this one here, and this C play to the left hand. So in, in, so in togetherness, so this is, I've already shown you this, so this is, you play the B, then is a, this is B minor, then B, so this is, C go here, together with the B, the, the F sharp chord, then. then when I go to the F sharp, first inversion, I hit together with the 6, then I do my, this C here, but here, then I add, so let me play very slowly so that you'll be able to hear and see it. I wanted to talk about the minor four a little bit before I go to something else. You might have heard me no. today. No. So this thing I'm doing here, like so this is like one flat seven four, then minor four, then six over four. There's something you really have to pay attention here. The change of chords. How I'm changing these chords is, is going to determine how you will how you will sound. That's basically. So this is like when I'm doing like when I'm doing the the, the one over five. So like now so I'm changing from a chord to a note from a note to a change. So like Note with an F sharp chord there, then then so like so from here from note chord then chord note so this is
what I would like to show you is using this chord that I had introduced to you, this dominant second chord. Now, just listen to the basic way I'm going to play the Wastaili song. here I would like to show you one of the chord is this chord or 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 like the left so this chord here is a second major instead of a minor. Remember all the minors are played on the second, the third and the sixth. But for the sake of passing chord, I'm going to use this one as a dominant chord sometime, but also as a major chord sometime. So now Alright now so this time I'm going I'm going to change this voicing a little bit this way. that 
So just do the E and add the F sharp in there. So, so, so I'm just holding the C, the C sharp together with it's five, which is an E, a, 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 a G sharp, and I'm going to hold this. That's why you can hear that that cool intermix. Mm. Then I do my C sharp dominant. All right. Now I would advise you to be playing your C sharps as dominant, especially when they're on the fifth. Right. So. Now I'm going to combine all, everything I've shown you from this tutorial. That's the first phrase. Together. Then I do. Now let me use the one. guys brings me to the wrap of this video keep on being posted until next time please continue practicing